Why, there are plenty of ways to make a statement, and one of them is through fashion. We're here with Jessica Crossfield, director of Handmade Toledo. Thank Hi, you for being here. Thank you for having me. And, and as you can see here, we're, we're, we're uh, diving into tie-dye. Now, this is this is not a new phenomenon, right? It's been around since, what, I, I always think the 60s, right? Was that, the, uh, maybe we could say that? You know, dyeing's been around for a long, long time. Okay, so what, what do we have here today? We have a couple different examples of types of tie-dye. Okay. Right here, you know, you have your traditional tie-dye. You see this big swirl. Mm -hmm. shape here. This is a really cool process called ice dyeing. Ooh. And then this one here on the black shirt is a reverse tie dye. Okay. Um, which just adds one extra step if you wanted to do something on a darker colored uh, garment or piece of fabric. Sure. So so the first step to this is, is, is I mean, obviously you got to have a piece of fabric, right? Yep. And you've, you've brought some fabrics, but it's a unique way to get the different patterns. What's the, what, how do we do this? Yeah. So there's different ways. Up here I have kind of some examples on my little diagrams. Um, of different ways of tying them up to get different kinds of patterns. Okay. This one right here I would think is the most uh, popular. All this right. is like a bullseye shape. So you take your, um, I also call it a biker ponytail. Sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah stick it out your helmet. Yeah, you, gotta yeah. Have you like just that. take it from the center down and then you put your different colors here. Okay. Here's one, this is a sock. This is just okay. a crumple and then I tie it up with rubber bands. Okay. This is another sock that I just fold it up and then tied it up. Gotcha. Um, to give you different kinds of patterns for your dye. Now is there is there a set, like are we doing math here? Are we trying to find a certain number of rubber bands for each uh, or does it matter or we just whatever you're I mean I don't know I've never done it before yeah just as long as it's tied up securely because the more bunched up the fabric is the dye isn't going to get into those places so okay. the dye isn't going to get into where these rubber bands are okay um, it'll get more into the unfolded stuff okay. so when you open it up your your rubber bands are mostly where oh, yeah. the white parts show okay on, on your design that makes total sense okay so mm -hmm. we're, we're not going to do it here it's a little messy i've got a nice shirt on the apron doesn't cover up the whole shirt <laughs> but the process itself uh my daughter's softball team they did this to their their uniforms uh, it, they had a lot of fun uh it's a fun project to do so what where do you get the dye and, and how much do you put in you can get a tie-dye kit at pretty much any craft store you can even get like the writ dye packets the powdery stuff, you don't, it doesn't even have to necessarily be a tie-dye kit. Okay. Just as long as there's dye, you're going to want gloves, you're going to want some rubber bands, you're going to want a plastic bag to put your um, your item in so it can kind of like sit and soak up that dye right. um, and it's not just hanging out. Um, and yeah. That, that's part of it though is, is how long you let it sit in there, right? To, to get and see if it kind of uh, marinates uh, long enough, right? <laughs> Mar marinating, yeah. yeah You're that's marinating perfect. a t-shirt or sock, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Overnight usually is what we suggest because the longer uh, the dye sits on there, the more vibrant it becomes, but even a couple hours is fine. A couple hours, okay. Uh, and then Handmade Toledo, uh, get, let the people know uh, where and what you do. Yeah, we're Handmade Toledo. We're at 1717 Adams Street. Uh, we have a maker shop where we carry the work of around 200 local and regional artists. We have a workshop where we have all kinds of classes, like one of these classes, uh, and we have studios and also an event space. And hours of operation for you usually? Tuesday through Sunday, 11 to 7. Okay, and let's see, so this is a uh, this is a Friday, so you're, as soon as you're out here, boom, you're going to the shop. We are, yep, we're open at 11, see uh, you then. Oh yeah, and it'll be as on TV. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks for uh, bringing back the Bill Walton style there. Uh, yeah. James, that one's for you. Uh, but. Uh, James, we'll throw it back to you.